Hey, it's Miss Crafts a lot. You're wondering who? Because it's been a while. I'm sorry. We've had a lot of life changes. We even moved. Check out the backyard. Oh. So today, I'm going to build a lighthouse out of terracotta pots. You know, my favorite material. Besides paint and paper and glue, here's what you need. Terracotta pots in three different sizes. Small, medium, and large. Ugh, this is a large one. It's kind of heavy. We do this one first. Paint. Good old paint. Any color you want. And, oh. Saucers. This is a design element. Not a real structural element, but I'll show you. And for the light part of the lighthouse, a low voltage lamp. You can get this at your garden center, like Home Depot or Lowe's. Insert plug here, just kidding. So first thing, since we're using a low voltage uh, lamp, we need to make room for the cord to come to the bottom of the lighthouse. So I just notched out a little spot here on the rim of the bottom uh, planter. So I'm going to flip this over and start painting. Oh, sucker's heavy. You don't have to worry about blemishes on the bottom of the pot because it's going to get covered with the next sized pot going right over the top. So I'm going to get paint, uh, start painting. So um, I'm going to use red because it's one of my favorite colors. And it, since it's going to be outside, you probably should use like an exterior paint, you know, so um, it'll weather, you know, a lot better than interior paint. Interior paint will just flake and fall apart, unless you want the weathered look. So let's begin. Now you might remember a video from a couple years ago where I painted uh, foam marble terracotta pots. This is going to be pretty much the same principle. Train. Okay, so in the interest of time, obviously, I'm going to continue painting just as I did the, the large one. And in a moment, we'll add our uh, faux marble effect. See that? That's a hole. So as part of a, a design element for this lighthouse, I'm using a couple trays. And so Terry was very uh, kind enough to drill a hole in, in two of the trays about this size. And <clears throat> he used, he used uh, was it a masonry drill bit? Is that right? Yeah, a masonry drill bit to drill holes in the plate so so that way the wires can go through from from the lamp so as soon as I get these painted I'll show you the next step so key point when you're going to use outdoor lighting because we're just finding this out now you have to make the hole in the one of the dishes First of all, for the cord to go through, and for for this particular dish design element or the top of the uh, lighthouse, the base should fit in the hole. <laughs> so you have to drill a hole big enough for the base to fit in. Otherwise, it's gonna be all wobbly. Okay, so <clears throat> now that all the first base coat is. Uh, painted. I'm going to assemble the lighthouse uh, of all the design elements uh, prior to obviously installing the lamp. So you just take, you have your larger piece flipped over 
and then the next size kind of balance that make sure it's even that looks straight and then this is just a design element I'm going to flip it over now at this point if you want this to be a permanent fixture to uh, to your piece I would uh, put some E6000 glue and then glue that right on the top but for now I'm just gonna put that there and then this fits on the top and then this will fit on the top of that and then <coughs> the lamp would go in there so for now I'm going to I'm going to do my my marbling effect with the sponge and some uh, different colored paint Oh, looks like I missed a spot here we go stop it that's not what I'm doing it's paint that I haven't used in a while and it kind of separated a little bit so you just gotta give it a good shake shake it all right so I'm going to use my sponge see from a previous painting project I'm going to use my sponge to make a marbled effect on my lighthouse I know it's not very traditional because usually lighthouses have stripes or whatever but you know I think out of the box so I'm going to do a little black and white more white than black but I'm going to do a marble effect on my lighthouse make sure your sponge is wet but you know, not like soaking, but you know, certainly damp. That way you can mold it and squeeze it and call it George. Anyway, little dabble do ya. And just for And then, of course, you take a non, you know, painted part of the sponge and you dab it some more. You don't need a lot of, you don't need a lot of paint for this part of the technique. So I'm going to continue to, uh, to marbleize my lighthouse and I'll be back in a sec. So the original plan wasn't working out to, to my liking, so I dabbed some more and it wasn't improving and I was getting frustrated with it. So I decided to rub it in. Terry seems to like it. It's got a weathered look, like hella weathered look. <laughs> Like it's been hasn't been used in years and no upkeep. So plan B didn't work either. <laughs> so I'm uh, going for a different effect kind of uh, military-ish kind of look, sort of. It's uh, completely weathered with some red undertones, obviously. And I'm just sponging on some black paint. I 
with a little hint of white or vanilla. So the whole idea is, is to be creative, yes. And if it doesn't turn out the way you like it, you can always start over. That's the fun part about arts and crafts. You can tear it down and start over again, or you can do like I do and just keep painting. So after a little smidge of a temper tantrum, I decided to just go all dark. You see a little bit of the hint of red underneath the, the black and the off-white. Um, this gives it a real weathered, ominous look. <laughs> so, at any rate, uh, the assembly of the uh, light fixture requires uh, another wiring contraption that's sold separately. But for now, I'll just show you how, how this will work. Since we have the hole in the dish, <laughs> hole, hole, ugh. and obviously a hole in the top pot. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of stuck on there. Okay, so we're just going to feed these ends through the hole in, the, in this top pot. But you should probably put it through the top dish first. <laughs> so we're just going to put these through here. It's almost a two-man job, but my camera person can probably help maybe by holding the light. Oh, look at that. Hold that. And then gently feed this through. And then the rest of the wiring harness that you have to buy separately will come up through the bottom and then it will plug in uh, to your lights or your power source. Now this part goes there. This goes here. And then this fits. Well, I thought it fit that way. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, you wait. I think you're supposed to go. <laughs> Terry got crazy. I got ahead of myself, sorry people. Hey, this part goes on last. Derp. So let's try that again. I was like, what? what? What do you mean? I had to look at the box going, that does go there, doesn't it? So after a couple hours of kvetching, here's the finished product. Oh, let there be light. Light. Okay, so the landscape lighting is made by Malibu, as you can see right here. And uh, there's other accessories that's supposed to uh, make it work, you know, like a uh, uh, mount a, a weatherproof power pack <laughs> and uh, a low voltage cable. So you can plug it into your outdoor power source. But uh, this is all dry. And uh, tonight we're gonna take it for a test drive. So if you like this project, give it a thumbs up. Make a comment down below. Check out our other videos. And as always, get your craft on, yo.